big nose, massive eyebrows, and his, again, very perfect sort of hair, like that. Big Mr. Potato Head ears. There we go. Rishi. I mean, the Tory party, how many more ways can I think of to draw somebody in a hole or somebody in trouble or some, with, the, with the polls going terribly? It's, there are, it's been a gift of different images of somebody doing very, very badly. Um, you know, I wasn't judging. It's just they did it to themselves. So I just drew what they did wrong. <laughs> Big chin and then the famous hair. Here we go. Which is perfectly, perfectly combed. Up. When a new person comes on the scene, if they're sort of quite good looking or unremarkable, they find it very difficult to begin with. Starmer is a very unremarkable face. Having said that, after a while you get to realise he's, he's a little bit porky, he's got a big chin, he's got very small eyes, his hair is perfectly quaffed there. So you get to know these sort of things. Um, so he's, he's, he's fine to do now. I've had practice for a couple of years on him. Um, Nigel Farage, I mean, what a, again, what a face. The teeth, the you know, frog eyes and everything. He's, he's great fun to do, really good fun to do. The, thing, the other thing about um, Farage is he loves cartoons of himself. So he always says, can I have that cartoon? Which not every politician does. He loves it. In the old days, things like Budget Day, all newspapers, all papers would have the, a cartoon of the, of the Chancellor on the cover. Now they don't, they have photographs. I don't know why. Um, it's the editor's decision. Um, and if the editor wants my cartoons on the front page, I'll, absolutely, it's great. Um, you know, it's great showcase for me, especially the stand, which is sort of racked up on the streets of London where everyone can see them rather than in a news agent. It's, it's brilliant, yeah, it's great. Absolutely.